let's do a button. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, I like to use the text button and then I'll just call it button. Okay. And go to the editor, add and make visible button. We'll need to call set bounds, but we also need to give the button some text so that we can see what's happening. So we can do that pretty easy button dot set. Uh, just type text and see what comes up. Yep, button text. And it wants a string, so we use our uh, double quotes. Something that actually means something. Let's see, phase. Let's do this. This will be interesting to show you. Button dot set bounds. And let's set the bounds based off of the dial. So let's put the button on the right side of the dial, uh, equal distance away. Uh, from the dial with the left margin. So we could say um, the X position is going to be the dial dot get X plus the dial dot get width plus left margin. And that should put it on the right side of the dial an equal distance between the dial and the left margin. I guess we could just give it top margin. We could make a button width and height variable button width is equal to get width like that maybe I don't know if that's too small or not but um, we'll see we'll do button height which is gonna be um, button half a button width Okay, let's see what that looks like. Okay, it's kind of small, but whatever. And you can see when we toggle it, um, it's not actually toggling, it's just clicking once and we can actually set it to where it toggles and we can change the color of the toggled on state as opposed to the toggled off state. And yeah, it gets, it gets way too small. So let's change this. And this is the cool thing about using um, these variables. Like imagine if we had 10 buttons if they didn't have this variable, I'd have to go in and change the size on all of them. But if they all had this variable, I just come in right here and it would change it for all of them. That's better. So let's make it actually toggle. It's a text button by default, so it doesn't actually toggle on and off. Um, you kind of use it as like a one click thing, but you could use it as a toggle button. There is a juice toggle button, but it looks very different. So let's turn this one into a toggle. So we could say button dot set licking toggle state and true it toggles the state and then we could set the colors for the different states and without looking at the docs i'll show you how to do it with um just kind of letting x code point you in the right direction text button color ids and then i'm just going to type on yeah button on color id and uh, let's give it a color. We'll say juice color. And we'll say light goldenrod yellow. Let's use that one. And then let's do an off color. So I'm just gonna copy this. And this will be off text color off and I'm gonna use like gray or something dim gray cool all right so that's off and that's on and the text color also doesn't look very good um, in fact we could probably just put the text color to black by default and it would look good on both so let's see if there's a oh I did text color off I need it to be Oh, okay. Off is just button color ID. On is button on. And then text color off. We can, yeah, so we can do a different one for off and on. So let's just do uh, black. We could do black for both. It probably look fine. 
X color on. So now we have button on color, the button off color, which is just called button color. Uh, text color off and text color on. Let's see what that looks like. Cool. It's toggling, very nice. Uh, I also want to move it down. Actually, let's just move the entire top margin down. Top margin, so I don't know, something like that. That's cool. Very cool. Let's do a toggle button. The toggle button's a little easier. There's not a lot of extra uh, stuff that you would do with it. Uh, toggle and uh, I mean for the toggle I think we just call add make visible and set bounds and it'll be fine uh, set bounds let's put it right under the uh, the button so the X position will be the same as the button so we can say button dot get X the Y position um, I guess we'll say button dot get y plus button dot get height but that will put it immediately touching the bottom part of the button so we can add a little bit of padding like 12 or something and then um we'd probably need to make another variable auto toggle size uh is equal to uh get with Maybe back to 05. Toggle size. And we could put that. The toggle button is a square. So we can just put the same variable in both X and I mean uh, width and height. Yeah, there it is right here. And it automatically is a toggle and it does a little check mark. Um, let's go to the docs real quick. And if I go to toggle, toggle button. Uh, color IDs, the text color, the tick color ID, and the tick disabled color ID. Oh, and we can add a, I forgot, we can add a text to the, to the toggle. Okay. Toggle, not set, is it text? Uh, button text. Okay. And then we'll give it, um, I don't know, I'll just call it power. And then... It was kind of small. Let's give it the other button width and see if it makes a difference. Now it's going to give us a warning saying we're not using toggle size. Oh, it doesn't actually. So I guess it has a, a set size. But you could override that with the look and feel, but that's a topic for another video. But yeah, that's the toggle button. Very cool. Even though it doesn't matter, I'm going to put toggle size back into there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do a label. Labels are also very simple. Not a lot of stuff uh, that you can do with them. Uh, we're going to put this on the dial. So what we're going to say is. Add. Make visible. Dial label. We need to set the text of the label. Set text. Gain. That's good enough. And then it wants this notification type, which uh, I never use. Uh, it's something that you can use to notify other components of something. Um, I haven't utilized that at all. Um, so you can just tell it not to send a notification. So it's inside of juice. And then you just type don't and it'll say don't send notification. And we're actually not going to use set bounds on the label because the label has this really cool method called attach to component. So we could say dial label uh, attached to component and it wants the address or it wants the yeah, it wants the address of the component we want to attach to so we can use the ampersand and then uh, the component, which is button. And it has bool on left. It basically will let you do either on left or not. 
uh, which is kind of weird. Usually there's other options, but it's just a bool, so it's just yes or no. Uh, so we're gonna say false so that it's uh, not. Uh, and then let's see what that looks like. Oh wow, it um, oh wait, I put button. <laughs> Why did I do that? Dial. Yeah, and then for some reason it's offset. So we can also do dial label dot set. Uh, I think it's justification. Yeah, justification. So we say juice justification uh, centered and that should fix it. Yeah, there we go. Gain is in the middle. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Check out my streams over at Twitch at twitch.tv slash doctor underscore bruising, where I live stream juice and audio development tutorials on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 5.30 Central Standard Time. I'd love for you to drop into the chat, ask me questions live, and interact with me on stream. And don't forget the stream is also on my YouTube at Dr. Bruising. You can also download the Viator DSP library that I'm currently working on to make juice development even easier and faster with awesome looking user interface objects and DSP classes. There's also a documentation page for it, which is pretty cool. And you can find both of them on my GitHub. All of my current plugin releases are on my Patreon at Viator DSP and can be downloaded for free, but consider becoming a patron to continue to support me making free audio plugins. I'd also like to share two awesome Discord communities Viator DSP and the audio visual community. Both are dedicated to all things audio, so music production, recording, mixing, mastering, uh, coding, juice, pretty much anything. We would love to build an active community of like-minded folks who can learn from, collaborate with, and just hang out with and do whatever. The link to all these resources are down in the video description and I can't wait to see you there. All right, see you next time.